Hey everyone, it's Jacob. A couple of people have been asking me about the whole coronavirus thing, so I thought I would just do a quick video and answer uh, some questions that I've been being asked. So I live in the Bay Area and it was just actually announced that there's going to be virtually a lockdown here for six counties in the Bay Area, including the one that I live in, Alameda County. So like probably many of you, stocking up supplies, uh, you know, food, whatever we need, nothing too crazy. You know, I see some people out there who are really just kind of hoarding a ton of stuff. Um, we're certainly not doing that. We're not in like overly crazy or panic mode. We're just kind of hanging out, you know, getting some things that we need. Uh, we'll probably bake cookies and try to, you know, we have a three-year-old. So obviously it's important when you have kids to, you know, not make it feel like anything is, is out of control or too crazy. So as much as we can, we'll try to play games with her. We'll try to bake cookies. We're still gonna go outside for walks. We'll, we'll watch some kids shows on Netflix. We'll we'll do probably a lot of the same things that, that many of you are gonna be doing with your kids. So from that perspective, it's, um, <clears throat> you know, what can you do? It's, it's definitely a little crazy. I was just at Safeway a little, a little while ago before making this video and the checkout lines were really long. Everyone was very calm, you know, nobody is uh, screaming or panicking or going crazy like some of the stuff that you see online at least nothing here uh, in Alameda County everyone was very calm and friendly and smiling and everyone was kind to each other and so from that perspective everything was great only issues of course uh, you know a lot of products are out like chicken everyone is buying up all the chicken so there's no chicken at the Safeway store here business wise I have had a few speaking engagements either get canceled or postponed which is a little frustrating you know, when you work for yourself as an entrepreneur, especially in the speaking business where a lot of revenue and income comes from speaking, it can be a little bit scary and uncertain. But thankfully, uh, my business should be okay. I have a team of 10 people uh, who are virtual and we have a, an ongoing group Skype chat. And so we're in the United States, in the, uh, in the Philippines, in Macedonia, in Serbia. And we're talking to each other and kind of sharing ideas or sharing what's going on in our respective cities and countries and just kind of supporting each other. So that's been really, really nice as well. And uh, I think we're going to take this opportunity as well while we are basically on, on lockdown to um, not necessarily stop working, but actually keep working, right? We're going to record some more podcasts. Blake and I are going to do some things together. We have an exciting project that we're going to be announcing, uh, which is a, a new podcast with both of us. So Husband and Wife Podcast, which is going to be coming up soon. So we'll probably record a couple episodes of that. Uh, we'll still be doing a lot of the same things that we're going to be doing. I really think it's important for everybody, whether you are an entrepreneur or not, don't panic, don't freak out. Um, use this opportunity to spend time with your family, spend time with, with those who are, who are close to you. And also use it as an opportunity if you have the time to to work. I mean, do the things that you've been wanting to do that you've been putting off. Now that you have the time to do it, go for it. I'll probably spend more time doing chess lessons and working on my chess game, spend more time hanging out with family, uh, spend more time doing, like I said, podcasts and videos and stuff like that, creating content, which is, you know, now all, all, all I can really do since we can't uh, pretty much leave the house. Uh, but again, I, I don't think we should be panicking or freaking out because that doesn't help really anybody um, and just remember to, to be nice, to be kind to other people. And if you see somebody struggling, offer to help them out. Don't, uh, you know, go into this kind of like um, panic mode, basically, because like I said, that's that's not really good for anybody. But I'd be curious to hear from, um, from all of you watching this, what impact is this having on your business, on your life? I have a private Facebook group with a couple thousand people in there, and we're, we're sharing how this is impacting our businesses and our organizations as well. But I'm really just curious to hear from, from all of you who are in different parts of the world, different businesses, uh, what impact this is having on your, on your company, what impact it's having on you personally, professionally, what are you, what are you starting to see? Share below. And maybe we can use this thread as a way to kind of build some resources, share some ideas, and try to help each other out whenever we can. But at least for the Morgan House, we'll most likely be staying put. You know, Blake and I are both speakers and entrepreneurs, so... Uh, we both had quite a few, as I mentioned, events and gigs get canceled, hopefully rescheduled to a later point in time. Blake is also pregnant with a, a, a baby due sometime in May, so that's uh, you know a little bit stressful as well. But um, we'll get through it. We will all get through it. You will get through it as well, and we'll all come out on the other end being, uh, being stronger, and I think everything will be fine. So uh, let's not panic. Let's help each other out, and let's try to remain optimistic as much as we can. 
All right, I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever in the world you are. And leave me a comment below and let me know how this is impacting you. And are you able to see the silver lining in any of this? See you soon.